All right. Mm -hmm. I literally let. I don't think we can do it. So. I hate it. I hate it. We got some very exciting stuff happening over here on the motorcycle lifts, but we got some prism business to get to. Big time, finally got some parts. We'll get back over there to the fun stuff here in just a minute, but we're gonna be knocking out some much needed, much awaited steering. Right now we're getting ready to cut this the link for the steering that goes from the uh, steering knuckle up to the steering box. And this is the Heim joint that we were waiting for so long Heim. we finally got. Heim. 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 Yeah. Heim. So uh, what we did, we got the, uh, <laughs> the front end centered, 
got the steering box centered and the point the measurement between the two attachment points was 47 inches so i laid these out at 47 inches and then that tells us how much we need to cut cut the pipe to go up into the bones so what we did we just centered these up so we got so, adjustment in and out yeah so we'll, one's right hand one's left hand thread so you can it pushes it apart pulls it back in yeah I and mean, that's where you centered up with the steering wheel up we got plenty of adjustment both ways with them so we will uh cut this to length i'm gonna weld the bungs in and we'll have steering for them bungs bungs by huh. the way it is super hot in here we're gonna speak up but i can tell you right now these fans they are not gonna they're, they're not coming off they're, they're, we're not gonna turn them off it is so i don't care what you say <laughs> i'm gonna be hollering at you from now on because i ain't gonna be burning up <laughs> pretty warm in here unless you want to send us a freaking nice unit they cool us off in here. <laughs> well, it's, you know, sophisticated saw we have. It looks like the mark. <laughs> Turn it out. Yep, nothing you can do now. what's going on all right we've got the steering hooked up sure. um, no, no, it's not working. <laughs> and it is actually pretty straight so that that that's what you want you want this this arm here parallel with that one as much as you can get and this one's gonna be pretty good we uh we backed it out we pulled it out with the other band and turned it and of course without having the power steering hooked up it's hard to turn but the biggest thing we want to do is make sure nothing that we did on the uh, steering column and the uh, steering shafts that we put together didn't break. And if they didn't break as hard as we had to turn on it without the power steering, I think we're in good shape. So once we get the power steering pump hooked up and get it going, get the motor running, I think the steering's going to be good. Everything clears. We've got plenty of room, plenty, plenty of clearance. And with it being straight, it's going to drive good. It shouldn't have any bump steer when it hits any bumps either. So. Another thing checked off the list. What do you think about it? It was a lo long, hard road, yo. <laughs> Talking. Dang. Get up in the chair. <gasps> Buddy. Oh! <laughs> He's our best employee. All right. So there you have it. The crossover steering is installed. And we're going to go back over this with y'all either in this video or a later video but uh if you haven't yet y'all check out the other videos where we've been working on this that was lots of time spent lots of long hours lots of chopping hours. up stuff making sure it would fit trying stuff out trying stuff trying stuff won't work trying stuff worked so hey <laughs> i'm here too but one of the things i have to do we got a set of eight lug steel wheels to go on here. They need to be uh, sanded down, prepped, painted, all that good stuff. So I'm going to be working on that. But also we got motorcycles. 
Hey, it's getting uh, summertime and we're all getting bad at fever. I got it bad because yeah, I've been out. I've been out like two years and it's crushed my soul. This poor little bag here has got to uh, be changed. So we'll change it. Yep. We're gonna do a little bit of that. Do a little bit of this. And uh, while he's gone, shipping kits. Yeah, that's right. Dad, Justin, my dad, Justin to you, Justin to everyone else. He is out shipping kits that we've been working on. Thank y'all for ordering kits. So oh, yeah, man. I don't know where that one's going. It's going somewhere far away. I know that much. Yeah, I don't, I have no idea. But got kits going out. Um, yeah, uh, we actually worked on my bike uh, over the weekend. Just a little bit got the front brake on here it was a four over setup on here when i bought this whole frame and everything but uh that wasn't quite safe because it was just some add-ons to these tubes and it didn't quite thread in the right way anyway so yeah. we said but nix dude, that i mean it looks good it With, does, yeah, he had the got... seat and the fender on there earlier and yeah. it looked freaking killer man it's gonna look cool it's gonna look like a I think so too. It's going to have that classic, like like late '60s, oh yeah, dude. early '70s, like club bike style. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. But maybe down the road, might go six over on the front. But the way it's sitting now, level and squatted down like this, it looks pretty cool. But yes, it does. Stock front end got a got my brakes back on here. This is actually a dual distribution block. So at some point, if I wanted to, I can run dose brakes up front. Uh, if you come around this way, Dad. And I'm I coming. Worked on this oil bag here, which is actually an old fire extinguisher. We took it and Check. made our mounts. Oh all gosh, I've oh, magnetized. magnetized. I've magnetized. Okay, I got it. We got all different types of mounts. We added this one and this one. Uh, utilized that one, but we actually just took a pipe and found the right size for this stock Sportster oil cap. And it just plugs right in there. Boom, lock it. Or Bam. There. I gotta plug the original fire extinguisher thing at the top here, but it's all rubber mounted. Yes, it's not Jesus. gonna go nowhere. Uh, what? Oh yeah, we got the rear tire mounted. I will never mount another tire by myself or with dad or nowhere. I will Especially take one it somewhere. that's uh, <laughs> dag on there 50 years old. I've got plenty to do on this thing before it's actually road worthy. Uh, but we'll go through that later and stuff. But but I mean, dude, it's coming like it's coming together. It's all coming we do, together. listen. All we need <laughs> is just a little bit of time, just a little bit of time, and then it's all it's all good. It's because all good. we, gosh, we've got so much to do, but we are trying, mm -hmm. and we are burning it out. So, but while he's gone, we're gonna kind of do a little bit of van, do a little bit of bike. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna see if I can get this looking nice with a piece of something out there i don't know what i'll do but i'll try to yeah all right well, let's let's get to it then huh let's 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 get to it and, roll. and do it do it do it yeah, <laughs> Ray. i don't know why i said that <laughs> i just i don't know man i'm crazy Bang. all right i have been outside got these two wheels in primer just kind of getting them prepping ready and all that good stuff everything's going all right so far i've been like we mentioned has been doing something on the bike catch me up on what's happening here well i found two scrap pieces they're not scrap they're in our scrap pile but found two of them uh they're galvanized which is all right, but I've grounded all of it off. But now I'm gonna put them together and I think I can use these two for a battery box. Yo. For sure. Oh, yeah. Heck. A lot better than that. 
<laughs> yeah. That looks cool. You, you with those hard edges on it, it's gonna look like an old school oil bag there. Yeah, I'm just trying to do it so I can get on the road. It's good, man. Yeah, I just gotta keep on going. I got the wheels. Got the wheels underway out here. Finally getting some white paint on them. Got first coat here. And a few more coats of primer on these. We'll be ready to roll. We got the oil tank back out and we have our hole mark for where the vent tube's gonna go and to where the uh was that not the return return, the return. Yeah, okay return. so they'll be facing out of the frame right here and they'll be going back out like that so all i'm gonna do is yeah So you think I ought to angle yeah, this I one think I believe in little, like that? Yeah, just yeah. a little bit. Might be hard on this pitch. There you go. Angle a little more. No, that's good. Ah, look at that. Still made the hole. All right, now I'm gonna take my other bit. What? Uh, this is a 2164. 2164 for. And that'll tap after that hole's made. We got a tap that'll tap that. Pipe thread. Pipe thread tap. Okay. Those metal shavings are hot, by the way. <laughs> they, they can get that well. Man. Now you did the other ones. You're a bit better at this than I am, but I will give it a fair shot. Son of the unborn. Still, ooh, like a hair, I can turn it and get by. Perfect, I think that's gonna be perfect. By the time it gets some pipe thread on it, that's plenty of threads inside for sure. Cool out. Yo, boom. Very good. You ever sitting around like, I don't know, man, I just don't know. Looking scrap iron, talking, yeah. If it's like a glard, I even got it. Look, I got it wrapped around all the way over there, like a <laughs> wow, put dude. A, put a put a put a put your balls in there, put your looking balls in there. Yeah, see, it goes kind of hey. wraps all the way down there. How the heck did you do that? That's I don't cool, know, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be. fives on that one. I guess I'd get my fabricatory badge, huh? <laughs> That's not real. Fabricatory. Fabricadabra. Fabricadabra. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so dad's in there beating on something. I don't know. But we got fire extinguisher, oil tank, 
uh, extravaganza done. <laughs> the fire extinguisher oil tank is done. Got the end cap welded up. Got it painted. And I don't know if it translates on camera, but the paint I used is like a wrinkle paint for uh, valve covers and headers for an engine. But I kind of wanted it in certain spots to make it look like it's been oil spilled on it and all types of stuff through the years. So I kind of wanted a survivor look to the tank itself like it's been on the bike forever. So I achieved that by just doing my thing on it and just rattle canning it with whatever we had in the uh, cabinet. I'm sure as it gets used, it'll get more of that survivor look and road worn in look. The good thing with an all black bike, I can literally run to Harbor Freight, get a, a can of spray paint and touch it up as I go. So pretty cool. Oil tank's done, about to mount it up here in just a minute, but we're gonna check in here with Mr. Ivan Yarber. No. One time. No. Flying up. Let's go to the uh, field report with Ivan Yarber. It's pretty windy. We got the fad going on here. <laughs> uh, nah, I'm uh, still doing I'm just taking sleeping. my time. I'm not really worried about it. I just, it, it's going back in a hardtail anyway, so. Thanks for coming by, though. Back to you in the studio. Cool, man. <laughs> Well, no, go ahead, sit on. That's why, that's why I show. This right here came out all right. It's not, it's not great, but it for this frame, the way it's the form that it's in right now, this bike, it's gonna work for riding. And there's a push button right there. Move the tire. There it is. <laughs> All I gotta do, turn the key on, smack it, pancake done, ready to rock. Just got that done, everything looks cool. Took it down the road, couldn't stop smiling. So, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna. That's the first time you rode with the piston rod brake pedal, right? First wasn't it? time, yeah, I stomped on that son of a gun. <laughs> so. Yeah, y'all go back and watch that video where we made that. It got, I think it got one test ride, but that was about it. Got it got one test ride, and yeah. It was... Are those, uh, those nuts torqued to spec? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'd hate for that to come I took off, I was thinking, I said, I ain't got shit. I ain't got my wallet. I ain't got my phone. We said the same thing. Yeah, you like, you like, you I ain't got that? nothing. <laughs> yeah, you just... <laughs> yeah, we said the same thing. But if you're on the side of the road, this is how easy it is. Just bolt one and bolt two. It's got a spacer behind here, don't forget. How do you think he'd? I'm not sure. Stop asking me, Joe, because I don't know. But he's a killer <laughs> freaking pinball dude, like, and he knows what. Shot out of there, like a nice Defender paper. welding glove flap to hold the Arky Sparky. Oh man, I need that 10 millimeter. It's over in the floor somewhere. 
Believe it. Believe it. It's the story of my life. <laughs> All right. A little bit of research, a little bit of development. A little bit of messing it up. A little bit of messing it up. Yeah, we are uh, trying to get you some brakes on your bike. <clears throat> and, uh, I watched the video. So yeah, you're all educated up. Much, you know what? Pretty you know much what professional on it. So. What we gotta do, I'm gonna cut a piece of a block out of this piece of metal here. But what's gotta happen is you just you change the disc, the rotor, off of another wheel and put yep. it on here because the 10 inch rotor wouldn't work. This is a caliper and mount off of a 87, I believe, Sportster. So what we've gotta do is Take this block of steel here. We gotta cut a block that fits up in this groove here that's threaded. Then we're gonna cut a plate that welds on this lower bar right here with a slot in it that the bolt that goes into this plate can slide back and forth on when you adjust your chain. This can move move with it. So gotcha. That's the plan. We just got to see if it all come together with the tools that we have. All right, so Dad and I just got this fabricated cut and I just finished kind of shaping this up a bit. Got it to where a bolt, a 3 eighths can go through it. So, well, there you go. That will go onto the frame somehow. Pretty hot, I'm picking it up with a channel lock, so. That'll go somewhere like beyond. It's probably gonna be hot. It's all yours. <laughs> Is it toasty? Would you look at that? It's all just falling apart, man. Hold the caliper up just a little bit so we can get it. Come on. All right, let me get this started. So, all right, come down. Come down. Man, so that'll be somewhere like in that. That looks just like the part you could buy. Yeah. It'll work. That'll do the job for sure. That'll keep the brake from flopping around. It still gives the adjustment to slide when you go to slide your axle and... Mm-hmm. Safety can... Uh... All right, we're going to move it forward. Don't mash my finger. I'm going to try not to. Well, it's kind of rickety right now because nothing's really bolted up. Moving it forward. Hey, I need to make this thing go about an inch forward. Oh, yeah. It worked. Look at that. Now bring it back. All right, now it's got to go backwards. Come on. Would you look at that? Perfect. It works. <laughs> Perfect. So, we may need to take a little right just for right clearance there. oh no it oh okay no 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 what's this yep we 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 done we done dripped it up in our heads all, all i watched our... the video yeah we watched you i watched we, we, we yeah we went on youtube and thought well that looks like that and we did it <laughs> lay the lincoln layer on it <laughs> You gonna put Ivan out of business? <laughs> Not me. No, well, no one can. Lose my purpose and I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> no one can beat the uh, 
no one can beat Yarbrough when it comes to welding. I I just uh, I just try to copy what he does. All right, another another final assembly that probably won't be the final assembly. We're gonna put it back together. We got it all on there. We're just mocking it up. Of course, we'll paint it, and then uh, we'll have a grade eight bolt in here. Yeah, this is just all temporary. But nine sixteenths wrench. Oh yeah. Can I have the cord? Yeah. Thank you. Oh my god, that hurt. You know what? Take it off. Alright. Getting bound up. This should be it, yeah. We got it pushed. We just we got it slid all the way back. Yeah, no so it's still got plenty of track, so that way it can all move forward. Because, as you know, I don't have the chain yet, so... So, let me see. Let's, let's, let's test it. All right. So, if you loosen this... I'm going to loosen this. This is called it. Go slide right in there. You slide this right where it needs to go. Boom. All adjustable. Very cool, man. We may cut. We may cut that corner off. Just, just for look. I got gotcha. you. I don't know. It's up to you. It's your bike. Yep. All right, that's the end of this video. Uh, this video was mostly about the uh, chopper build on Seth's bike. We've been uh, still doing our regular stuff during the day, but mostly in the evening has been working on Seth's bike, trying to get it ready for uh, him to do some riding this summer. And uh, that's about what you saw, I think, mostly on this video was the first half of us working on it. Uh, I saw a little bit of band stuff in it, I think, but, uh, you know, we're gonna end it on this one. Like we always say, check out our buddies at OK Recycling need anything scrap metal bought sold whatever copper anything they'll do all that stuff check them out check out renegade supply renegade tees it does all the merch go buy some merch check the link at the bottom seth will put it at the bottom buy some merch that helps us out a lot uh power and sound music revival it is may 18th may 17th and 18th be sure to come to that it's gonna be music camping vendors will be there ton of people will be there uh prism supply go check prism supply out they uh we uh been working on the van there actually you're gonna see some prism supply stuff going on seth's bike here in the next uh video or the one after that so go check out prison supply they build some awesome top quality chopper stuff uh our buddies at fed up fab if you haven't seen their youtube channel go check out fed up fab and peace and grease up in ohio they uh actually are having a show a uh, car show, kind of a music festival, kind of the same thing we're having on Power and Sound. The same weekend, we are up in Waynesville, Ohio. So if you're in that area, uh, go to their show. If you're in our area, come to ours, but check them out. Real cool people. Got a uh, YouTube channel, Peace and Gle Grease. I'm sure you're going to see some probably some collaborating with them here in the future. Uh, Tim, we haven't actually met yet, but Tim's got him a van, and it's probably going to get a little bit of swim shop treatment in the future. So. Check all that out. Swift dog, cook Swift talk, cook Swift talk coffee dot com for your instant coffee. Put in our uh, code, the Swim Shop Four by Four, to get a fifteen percent discount. Uh, and like always, y'all just keep doing what y'all doing. We'll keep doing what our we're doing. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, I don't know. Just keep it going. We're gonna keep it going too.